Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am very excited because I did receive my Odin's Eye Perfect World collection and I want to do a look with each of the palettes, show you the palettes. I paid for this with my own money and I'm going to give you my honest review. I've never tried anything from Odin's Eye, this is my first time and shipping did take a little bit but they shipped it rather quickly and I think they're international so I'm gonna go for some pricing information very quickly i paid 91.95 for all of these palettes i didn't miss out on the scarves because this launched right with the glam light and chucky collection and i prioritized that and if it's between getting the chucky collection and getting some scarves i would have chosen the chucky collection so i'm gonna do three looks in total in today's video one with each of the palettes I love Lauren May Beauty and Batty Bean. I haven't heard of makeup just for fun, but her palette was too beautiful for me not to pick up, and I'm definitely going to check her channel out as well. So if you want to see all of that, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, let me know what you're drinking. I am drinking some hot cocoa. Delish. Which one should we start with? Maybe I should do any mini mini mo any mini mini mo catch you by the pen too. If you if I let it go any mini mini mo. Let's start with the Lord maybe one. Okay, let's start with the Sea Talk palette. Just look at Lauren all beautiful and shit over here. This palette is gorge. Okay, gorgeous. Do a little close-up. I love how the packaging is so themed and beautiful. I love the ocean vibe. So let's go in with some shade names. I have Dolphin Tail, Sunken Treasure, Electric Kelp, Mermaid Scale, Ocean Jewel, Smoky Pearl, Driftwood, Iridescent Shell, Sea Spray, Night Swim. The Sea Talk palette retails for $33.90 and unfortunately I couldn't use any discount codes with this collection which kind of stinks. It does kind of stink, but overall I understand. It just is a little, it is a little stinky. I'm going to start with this shade called Dolphin Tail. And this is going to be my crease shade. Never used any Odin's Eye formulas ever. This is my first time I have gotten requests to try this brand out. And there has never been something where I'm just like, I need to get that. For me to buy it and try it out until this launched so i was quite interested when this launched but it also launched at the same time of chucky and i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to buy both of them and i was pretty sad at the time but i managed to make it work which is always nice I'm so happy for Lauren that she got to do her first collaboration with Odin's Eye. I think that's such a, a good choice for her. I, I trust Lauren so much. Like anything she like says is good, I'm like, yeah, is good. She's right. I'm going to take this navy blue shade called Night Swim and use this to deepen up this look this is very pretty and i feel like it's matching that dolphin tail like taupey shade very well and it's actually blending out a lot easier than that shade was which i very much appreciate i'm gonna just blend over that really fast this is how my <laughs> gooder primer is packaged now so i'm just gonna take this out of here and use what i have i'm gonna take my finger and just putting this literally all over the lid for the shimmers i don't know how these shimmers are gonna go hopefully they look really nice on the lid i'm not sure i'm gonna go ahead and take the shade called ocean jewel i am now going to take mermaid scale right here and pop that in the inner portion and for fun i want to take either one of these I don't know which one. Let's take the pink. I want to take the, uh, it's called Iridescent Shell. I'm picking it up on a LBE6. That's very pretty. All right, and this is my look with the Sea Talk palette. I actually really like this. I think it's beautiful. I like how well those blues mix together. I'm just going to take my blending brush and kind of just go over i really enjoyed this i'm so excited about it yay <laughs> i am going to put on some lashes and we can get started for look number two here is look number one with the sea talk x lauren ray beauty palette gorgeous 
gorgeous the shimmers are beautiful i had a little bit of trouble using that dolphin tail shade but i was able to resolve it fairly easily and if you're wondering what lashes i'm wearing i'm wearing the kiss jubilee lashes i've really been enjoying those so this is what i have going on i have color pop exit eyeliner and the waterline i'm gonna get started on this one i believe i'm gonna use the Betty Jean Planet Spirit Palette. This one's also really beautiful. So I'm going to be using the Planet Spirit Palette next. This palette also retails for $33.90. And I'm going to go over some swatches. We have Fauna, Kingdom, Animalia, Pride, Majestic, Rescue, Familiar, Habitat, Kindred, and Sanctuary. I have like a slight idea on what to do here, but I'm still like in the uh, not sure portion. This is the palette that Betty Jean made for the Odin's Eye collab, and I'm excited to try it out. These colors are beautiful, and they do kind of remind me of Florida, if you didn't see Teresa's video on this, because I did. So, I'm going to start with this shade called Pride, and I'm scared because this is very colorful very pigmented like right off the bat it's very pigmented feels very creamy on the lid looks very creamy on the lid i don't know if this is like gonna stain my eye i guess we'll see and i'm gonna keep it kind of rounded on the end here absolutely beautiful i'm going to take this shade called rescue now it's like a kind of salmony pink and i'm gonna put that over that shade just to kind of like blend it further and kind of see like where this takes me i took the wrong shade <laughs> i took the wrong shade oh jeez i'm having a bad day today like mentally i'm like not here and i have to do another video after this and edit a whole other video so i'm like kind of have a lot so far i don't like the way i'm using these colors but like that's me so i'm just taking a fluffy blending brush i i did clean my brushes they're not dirty I did spot clean them and i'm just gonna try to like blend this out further I don't know if it's gonna work very well it's very bright i will say these colors are extremely pigmented and bright you can see these colors from a mile away i'm gonna go in with this smaller blending brush and i want to take the shade habitat it's this really bright orange hopefully this doesn't look like shit and it looks good and i'm just gonna put this like right on the edges of everything i don't care if it's like in my brow i kind of just need that little bit of orange in there for some reason so i'm gonna add it and just see where this takes me blend that out i'm having a rough time with this one i just don't like the colors that i chose or how i decided to go about doing this maybe i just tried to do too much i'm gonna leave it and i'm gonna put the shimmers and see how that works like it's definitely not the palette it's definitely me like 100 percent me i don't think it looks too bad i'm trying my hardest to make it work together but like they're just not working together and that's totally fine kind of wanted it to look like a sunset type of vibe very vibrant and i mean that's giving vibrant but it's not really blending into each other the way I, I wanted it to. So I'm, I'm really trying here to work with it. But if it doesn't work at the end of the day, it's just not going to work for me. But I feel like the more I add the colors back into it, the more I see the colors. This is definitely going to be the one that I remove. Like it's definitely not the one that's going to stay on the eyes. I give up. <laughs> this is what I got and that's... Honestly, it looks better than when I started, so that's something. I'm going to go ahead and put some of my NYX glitter primer on, and then we can figure out shimmer. I want that purple to be kind of visible, so I'm not going to take in the shimmer too much. It's going to be, like, more concentrated. I want to take the shimmer in here called Kindred, because it's just a beautiful purple shimmer, and it's just going to look really good with what I have going already. It's just not my day, man. I have no idea. I have no idea how I feel about this. And we're just gonna finish fucking this look up with this shade in the inner corner. I honestly, I just wanted a sunset. I just wanted a cute little sunset moment. But that's not what I got. <laughs> I 
I like this color. It's like orange, but it has like gold shimmer flecks. I don't know if you can even see them, but I'm going to build it up so you can hopefully see like a little bit of it. I used to love an orange inner corner moment and I wanted to bring the orange in this look somehow. I just don't think I did it in the right way. <laughs> Going over that with the Majestic, I feel like these shades look good together. So I just went over it just a little bit so it pops a little more. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's definitely something. I definitely don't really love my take on this eye look. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't love. I don't love it. I don't know. Let's put on some lashes and we'll just we'll just go from there okay this is look number two i definitely am not a huge fan i feel like this look is definitely not my favorite look i've ever done it's definitely one of the on the lower end of favorite looks i feel like it could have been good if i was just execute it better i definitely think the lashes helped but overall i'm still still not a huge fan of this look and this is probably going to be the one that I remove well no this is going to be the one I remove off so we can try the last palette no problem with the, the shades the shimmers or anything it's just me is the problem so that is where I'm at with this one okay, I try my best to remove it and perm my eyelids again so let's get into the Odin's Eye and Makeup Just for Fun Flora Story Palette. This one is beautiful. Like, look at these tones. Look at them. They're beautiful. Hi, guys. Editing me here because I forgot to talk about the shade names. <laughs> so, from top to bottom, we have Dawn, Shroom, Magnolia, Sage, Lush, Clover, Best Buds, Azalea, Misty, and Orchid stunning okay bye i'm very excited to use these today my eye is a bit irritated and stained from the other palette and me trying to remove the other palette so hopefully i can get this done i do know what i kind of want to do i want to go in with the purples of course i'm gonna take the shade azalea i'm gonna pop this as my crease shade i like that you get greens and neutrals in this palette and purples i really love that you get purples in here as well i love purples i think they're such nice color to put on your eyes hopefully i can actually execute what i want to do i don't really want to do anything crazy like my last look i want to keep this one kind of easy you know and i definitely want to do like a separate videos with each of these palettes because i feel like this video is more of like a first impression i mean so far it's really nice so far i really enjoy the palettes i did have a little bit of trouble with the betty g a little That is one big pile of shit. I had a lot of trouble with the Betty Jean one, but that was my, like, fault for trying to do too much. And it's no shade to the palette whatsoever. I really think that it was just me, the problem there. But, I mean, this one is applying incredibly nice. I very much enjoy this kind of light, dusty purple. And I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend this out. Super nice. I like how the mattes blend. I love how the shimmers look on the eyes. I think it looks very stunning. To deepen this up, I want to take this shade called Orchid right on the outer corner here. Just feel like this would look really nice with the rest here. I feel like this one's my favorite out of all of them. I love the Laura May one, but I love these tones. Going back into the first shade, Azalea, and kind of just using that to blend all of this together. Then we'll go in with that blending brush. This one's beautiful. I love this. I'm just going to go ahead and take my... Next glitter primer. <laughs> Fat bit. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? And pop a little bit on the back of my hand, which always turns out to be a lot because of the way the packaging is now. We're just working with it. We are just working with it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger and pop that on the lid everywhere everywhere on the lid and of course i'm going to go into this shade magnolia 
because I just, I have to. That is beautiful and I love it. I'm gonna try to deepen up some more with that orchid shade. A beautiful orchid shade. This shimmer just sparkles, man. It's so pretty. For my inner corner, I want to take the shade Dawn over here. It's a multi-chrome, I believe. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty and cool. I definitely prefer the Flora Story palette very much so because it has purples and greens and those are two of my favorite favorite colors to put on my eyes. I feel like these two are definitely my favorites. I'm gonna pop on my last lash, complete the rest of my makeup, and then we can talk about my final thoughts. All right, everyone, and this is the final look. Let me, like, zoom in so you can see with the lashes. Here is the final eye look. I'm obsessed with it. I love both of these are stunning, okay? I love both of these. The look I created with the Planet Spirit palette was not my favorite, but I definitely like the colors in here. I definitely like these palettes. I think it was pretty nice. I have never tried Odin's Eye formulas, so... I'm definitely excited to continue using these. I want to do a video with each of these. I want to try them out in a full video. Let me know if you'd be interested. This collection's almost sold out, so that's when I checked. It said that it's in low stock, so if you're interested in picking any of these up, I highly recommend this one. If you can only pick up one, the Flora Story palette is stunning. I love the look I created with this one, but I also highly recommend the C Talk palette with Lauren May Beauty. Again, I don't know makeup just for fun, but I feel like I need to check her out because this palette was stunning. But I will do dedicated videos with each of these in case you are interested. Overall, I rate this a 9 out of 10. You know, I had a user error, but I had to use these very quickly and they worked out pretty pretty well for me but I'm still unsure if they were worth the price that I paid. I paid a pretty hefty price for these three palettes and I don't know. I don't know if it was a hundred percent worth it. I did want to support the creators of these palettes more than I wanted the palettes so that's kind of where I'm at with this. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it some type of helpful. If you want to see the video with each of these let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always here to help you. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! So great. Oh no, 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 no. Great, there's lash glue stuck on my tweezers, taking off my lashes. Come on, man. I keep fucking my look up anyway, so like, I don't know what to do at this point. E what is it? And I have never tried Odin's Eyes. I didn't do the shade names for this one, but I will just put the swatches up for you.